case of coronavirus in South Africa has been confirmed. South Africa will impose a nationwide lockdown. And the military has been called in to help enforce the lockdown. No one could move around, so even if you wanted to leave your abuser, you couldn't leave. Virus with the spread of the virus was always going to cause chaos. And fatalities as well. Knocked down by the president. Number of people in the disastrous So, how does a small non profit organization against women abuse get a nation to see the truth? Introducing the Abuse News, the world's first augmented reality news takeover using AR face tracking to apply bruises to a presenter's face as she read the COVID news live to show millions of South Africans the pandemic they weren't hearing about. Using advanced AR software, we developed a unique face mesh identical to our presenter's profile. Database images were aggregated to create realistic bruise progressions, which were mapped onto the mesh. Then, by adapting a facial tracker, we could apply the effect to our presenter's face as a seamless filter, while it was broadcast live to an entire nation amid fears of a possible second wave of the coronavirus pandemic. This comes as government increases efforts to contain flare-ups in localized areas across the country. The effect was instantaneous, sparking an outcry across South Africa's social media. Even competing news networks and celebrities joined in a national debate. For the first time ever, a newsreader had given a voice to the abused without having to say a word.